It's come to change our lives forever. Building our nations and our homes, restoring sight to the blind, bringing hope to the hopeless. It goes beyond language barriers, 'cause it's a God carrier. It's our messenger angel to the rest of the world. It's rap so deep. Our reality is giving our lives a meaning. Rap so deep, our reality is giving our day a lift. Directing our path, enlightening our world. Rap so deep, our reality. Has come to change our lives forever. Coming up on Rhapsody of Realities. God has given us eternal life, and this life is in the Son. So when you know this, that you have the Son in you, you're born again. Then you have life, and this life is eternal life. Light up your month of September with the Messenger Angel. It's a colorful celebration of God's Word from the Rainbow Nation of South Africa. This is Rhapsody of Realities, your number one daily devotional program, coming to you all the way from South Africa, the Rainbow Nation. Don't miss a single episode this month on your favorite devotional program, Rhapsody of Realities. Whatever He tells you to do, do it. Lift up your eyes right now. Give your attention to Jesus. Stay tuned. Welcome to another exciting week. My name is Deaconess Dorothy. It is the second week of September and we are already halfway into the month. My name is Pastor Manalisa and you are indeed welcome to Rhapsody of Realities, your favorite daily devotional program. It's great sharing this awesome devotional with you every day right here from South Africa. Today is Monday and we will be having your favorite article segment. Favorite article segment. Mm. 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 Interesting from the Rhapsody of Reality. Yes. You know actually really if you think about it every single day is How do you find an uplifting <laughs> moment with Rhapsody of Reality. Because yes. Pastor Chris and Pastor Anita share the most profound teachings each and every day with us through the Rhapsody of Reality. But I do have one that I really liked last month. It was actually last month in August. If I just go back to it in the month of August, if you go back to August um, the 14th, it was a Tuesday, and Pastor was sharing with us and he said that he perfects your path. Oh boy, when I read this article, I read it over and over and over oh, again oh. throughout the day that God perfects Oh, my wonderful. heart mm. and you know he, he says the lord will perfect that which concerns you just a little clip just a little bit of what he said in that message pastor says oh what peace flooded my soul when i discovered the scripture many years ago the scripture that is the lord will perfect that which concerns me there's just some messages that you read in the rhapsody of reality that you can't stop meditating on this yeah you, you can't, can't. no some are teaching some are instructive yes. some are you know enriching, encouraging Absolutely. messages. And when you it's read wonderful. a message like this, mm. you're like, I never read the same. Don't you have one as I well? do, <laughs> my goodness me, I do. You know, and I've always been so fascinated by the fact, anything to do with our mind, because that is where we save our soul. Mm. The Bible mm. says we save our soul by receiving the engrafted word of oh God. God. And true. that's where we need the salvation is of our soul. And so this one is from June the 15th. And it's a Friday and Pastor Chris is ministering and he says, you can control your thoughts. Mm -hmm. You know, it's amazing. People think that they cannot control their thoughts. Their thoughts just come in and they just have to deal with it. But it is imperative that we control our thoughts because I just want to read this little bit. He says, Pastor Chris says, you must think in line with God's word. Listen to this. God has given you the ability as well as the responsibility to change your life Hallelujah. because pastor says if you want to change your life you, you have, have to, to change, change the way thinking. you think 
true. And the way you change your thinking is by changing the source of your thoughts. Mm -hmm. That's why we meditate on the Word of God. Renewing because that's your mind exactly. with the Word. Oh. And we're busy, we're busy changing what we're thinking. We're busy thinking in line with God's Word. The Word of God is always fresh whenever you come across it. It's never outdated. Yes. You know, you can refer to the Word of God day Ooh. after day, a rhapsody from years back. Absolutely. You can bring it forth mm. and meditate upon it again and you will get a fresh revelation from Push. the Spirit of God yeah. that will uplift you, mm. knowing that you need to change your thoughts. And that was a word that Pastor Chris and Pastor Anita shared with us in the rhapsody yes. then. And that's the exciting thing about the rhapsody of reality. Yes. Always fresh on the go. Always giving you a fresh word to lift you up on a daily basis. Hallelujah. And you know when you change your thoughts and the way you think, Pastor also says you can release every moment. You know, I really Relish like that. Every moment. Yes. Relish the moment. And that was a message for in August, once again, last month, on the 5th. And he says that life is a journey. And while you're on that journey, it's important you enjoy the trip and release every moment mm -hmm. you know Deacon, i really love the rhapsody of realities because it's actually one of the ways you can actually relish every moment of your life as you study the word of god and it uplifts you and it brings joy to your spirit and oh boy oh you're I set for that. the day mm -hmm. after you've studied your rhapsody mm -hmm. of realities as we're talking I'm, I'm just reminded you know today when i was coming to work and i was driving you know um i passed through uh, actually I, I got to a traffic light and and while i was stopped at the traffic light there was a, 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 a homeless man that that came to me and he was an elderly man and he came to my window and he was asking asking me for money yeah. and you know as I got talking to him I, I just realized the defeat in his speech yeah. I mean I just realized you know that his his life is is full of hopelessness his life it's, it's like the way he speaks. It's like I, I was literally feeling shivers as he was talking because he, he, his every sentence was full of defeat, of death for his own life as he's talking. Mm. And there was so much hopelessness mm. in his speech. Mm. Mm. I can just imagine. You know, that is such a, such a familiar story. Mm. And you know, the man said something that was really touching. He said that, you know, my sister, life is just unfair, things are not fair, I don't want to live anymore, the, the way things are for me, things are very, very bad, the suffering, the suffering, the suffering is too much, I'm tired of suffering, I'm tired of suffering, mm. my life is unfair, and you know, he was, he was really angry at life, he was really, mm. you know, like he's, he's mad at the way things are going for him, and in my mind, you know, I just had so much pain for him and sorrow. Do you know why? Because the scripture in Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 came to me that my people are crushed. My people are destroyed only because they lack knowledge. Because they lack knowledge. If only he knew. If only he knew that there's more to life oh, yes. than meets the eye. Yes. Life has so much in store mm. of the one who would seize it. You know, I'm just thinking about that scripture that says this gospel, oh. you know, it takes the beggar from the dunghill mm. and places him mm. among the princes. Mm. That's what's available mm. to that man. He doesn't have to be in that predicament mm. because Jesus has done it all. He says he will lift him out of that dunghill mm. and place him among princes. And the thing that is preventing that is lack of knowledge. knowledge. I remember a great man once said that even life itself, oh, Expect mm. you to enjoy it. Don't you love life that? Life itself. Oh, I just love it's one that. Of its expectations. It expects me to enjoy life. Yes. Oh, Lord. you know, for example, we take it as being normal and acceptable when we are healthy and happy and everything mm. is okay. Mm. The moment things are otherwise, then there is discomfort, mm. unhappiness, mm. there's displeasure. Mm. There's a lovely scripture I love so dearly, and it's in Luke. 12 verse 32 and it says fear not little fear, oh hallelujah for it's your father's good oh, pleasure to hallelujah. give you the kingdom oh, his good hallelujah. pleasure hallelujah fear one of the most not. assuring scriptures oh, yes. fear in the not. word of god hallelujah mm. most assured oh fear not little children oh deaconess i can i can just literally hear the father's loving voice saying that mm. another translation actually says deaconess that fear not little flock your father did delight to give you the rain Ooh. to rain in this earth hallelujah 
yeah, give you the rain. To give you the rain over all situations. Uh, mm, so there's mm. nothing to fear. Yes. He says, I'm the Alpha and the Omega. Hallelujah. Fear not. Mm. He's the beginning and the end. Wonderful. He, he was there in the give beginning, the he's there in the end. So he knows everything mm. concerning mm. you that's in the middle. So there's nothing to worry about. Oh, praise God. There's a higher life in Christ to be lived. There's a higher life in Christ. The God kind of life. Eternal life. That victorious, supernatural life. A life beyond this world we live in. Oh, glory to Hallelujah. God. And you can live it when you are in Christ Jesus. Right. Glory to That's God. That's right. That life is found in His oh, dear yes. Son, Christ Jesus. Man. That is what Pastor Chris is talking to us about today. The victorious life. Oh, glory to God. You may be watching us and you are not on the streets. But you know that the life you are currently living is not the victorious God kind of life we are referring to. Or maybe you want to know more about this life that mm -hmm. is found in Christ. Why don't you sit back and get yourself ready. When we return from this break, we will tell you more about it. What's your favorite devotional for the week? Hmm. Yes, you have an opportunity to share it with the world. Log on to the Rhapsody of Realities group on U Course. www.ucourse.com slash community slash Rhapsody of Realities. Post your comments and watch out for it on your favorite devotional program, Rhapsody of Realities. Thank you for joining us. Welcome back to Rhapsody of Realities. And Pastor Chris is teaching us today about the victorious life in you. This life is in you. Oh boy, I can't wait to hear and learn more. Glory to God. Now, today's opening scripture is taken from the first book of John, the first chapter from the 11th verse to the 12th verse, and it reads, And this is the record that God has given to us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. He that hath the Son hath life. Glory to mm -hmm. God. What a scripture. What a scripture. You know, Jesus, with no uncertain terms, mm. identified his mission. Mm. In John chapter 10, verse 10, it says, He came to give us life and life to, to the full. full. Glory to God. And you know, in another version, it says, He gave, he, I came out, you might have life, life to the full and to enjoy. Mm. You see, because it's a, it's the victorious life in you. Yes. 